Yo, brother. It's time for us to start talking the real, man. We've been sugarcoating too much. We've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hi, guys. Welcome to the second part in my series of troubleshooting the Motion V14. Uh, the first test I did based on the recommendation from InMotion was to open up the control board area and uh, inspect the hall sensor connector and cable, see if anything was out of the ordinary. Remember the failure in this wheel, the initial failure uh, indication was a bad hall sensor. And then subsequently that caused an issue with the control board which burned up. Uh, didn't literally burn up, but it's it's dead now. In this video, they've asked me to measure the impedance on, uh, of the hall sensor cable, uh, hall sensor itself. And that's what I'm going to do right now. If uh, if there's a minimal impedance in this test, that'll mean the hall sensor or sensors are functioning. If there's uh, essentially an infinite impedance. That's going to be uh, a problem. Okay, I'm going to use my meter, turn it to the dialed setting. This will allow me to bias the hall sensor. Essentially, kind of activate it. Red goes to the black wire, in the bottom corner. And now I'm just going to probe the blue, green, and yellow. And I should get uh, approximately 0.6, so I'm told. 0 0.586, 0 0.585, 0 0.605. Well, hall sensor is looking good. Well, this is a short video. Uh, hall sensor looks good. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, you might have noticed it in the video, but I did disconnect the phase wires from the Raptor control board and the tire spins freely. So um, that just another nail in the coffin for that control board. All right, well, I'll be uh, sending these results off to uh, in motion. Looks like the motor is good, uh, so I expect I'll be receiving a new control board, and uh, and uh, we'll see what else comes down the path. So um, next in the series of this uh, repair series will probably be when I get the control board. I'll uh, show you how to remove this control board, install the new one turn it on and hopefully everything will be working and I'll keep you of course keep you up to date with any uh, information that uh, in motion happens to provide regarding uh, my specific uh, failure all right guys hope you found this video useful until next time safe riding